This video will show you how to set up and use the new load time adjustable setting in Pokemon mode for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Please watch the Switch Up Pokemon initial setup video before watching this video. If you find this tutorial helpful, feel free to share it and leave a like. You must pair a controller directly to the Switch Up device before you can use the mods. If you do not perform this step, you will be unable to switch to the Pokemon mode. Controllers can be wired or wireless. You can find pairing instructions for various controllers on our YouTube channel. Tap the Mode Select button until the Switch Up displays yellow and teal LEDs. You are now in Pokemon mode. In the game, it is recommended to stay in local communication mode to ensure that your internet connection or online players do not interrupt any of the mods. On to the setting itself. Due to some consoles having longer load times than others, such as differences in micro SD card speeds and hardware variances, some of the mods may lose sync and miss the timing of inputs. A few examples of this issue would be not getting on your bike when you take a flying taxi to Bridgefield for shiny egg chaining, getting stuck in the Switch Pokemon using the Max Raid Watt Generator, the game not restarting properly using Rare Den Farming. If you are experiencing any of these issues or something similar, you can use the load time adjustable to increase how long the mods wait for loading screens. For your reference, the equivalent button for minus is view on Xbox or share on PS4. Hold minus until the mode select LED turns white and you feel a rumble. This means that you have entered menu mode. From here, hold the home button or the equivalent button on other controllers. Hold the button until you feel a continuous rumble. You are now in the load time adjustable menu. To increase the time by a quarter of a second, tap the up D-pad. To decrease the time by a quarter of a second, tap the down D-pad. The amount of time added to account for loading is represented by the four green player LEDs. All four lights represent an additional one second of load time. Tap the home button again to exit the load time adjustable menu, or minus to exit the menu mode altogether. Now go and try your mod again. It may take a few tries to find the correct setting. And that's how to use the load time adjustable setting in the Switch Up Pokemon mode. For more tutorials and news about upcoming products, make sure to subscribe to Collective Minds.